convinced by the various hacking gurus on how to extend the life of the battery and on how to best protect the smartphone screen, I started treating it as if it were the relic of the holy foreskin of Jesus, marking every action on it according to the iron ritual of tricks and advice aimed at obtaining the much desired eternal life of the battery in the display. But exactly at the 500th recharge cycle and at the 100th fall I found myself in the middle of the path of greasy feet, severe to the fetishist, during an expensive private broadcast. On only fans abruptly interrupted by broken tempered glass and dead battery after 10 seconds. So the reward for my faithful observance was only a great waste of time. Specifically for the battery, I opted for a compatible Chinese one which seemed to me of good quality and above all of recent production, a 3000 mAh XXL LHAM LiPo type, compatible with Huawei Honor 8, Huawei Honor 9 Lite, Huawei Nova 2 Lite, Huawei P Smart, Huawei P10 Lite, Huawei P20 Lite, Huawei P8 Lite, Huawei P9, Huawei P9 Lite, Huawei Y6, Huawei Y6 Prime, Huawei Y7 Prime, Huawei Y7 Pro, Huawei Honor 7 Lite and in general for batteries with code HB366481 ECW. In current smartphones most of the components are glued, then to take them apart. You have to loosen the grip of the glue. A good method is to use a heat source, such as a hairdryer, but being careful not to overdo the heat. To avoid melting the plastic parts, with the plastic pick, present in the kit, of tools supplied with the battery, working along the edges of the cover. But without exaggerating with the pressure, I separate the rear cover from the body. With the Phillips screwdriver supplied with the tool kit, I unscrew the two small screws to remove the protective cover of the battery connector. I unplug the battery connector. The battery is attached to the body with a double-sided adhesive, then, being very careful, I detach it by using the small lever. In plastic and the pick both always supplied with the tool kit. Replacing a tempered glass in a battery is a fairly simple operation, which basically consists in unsticking the old pieces and replacing them with new ones. Both the battery and the tempered glass for the smartphone model in question, and Honor 9 Lite. A few years ago, I found them in the Amazon cauldron. The old battery has a production date of July 2018. While the new battery is of recent production, March 2022, as indicated on the label. The adhesive still has good adhesive power, so I apply the new battery directly to us. I connect the connector and screw the protection plate back on. Before completing the reassembly, I check that the smartphone turns on and that the battery is working correctly. Indeed, everything works smoothly and the battery is already about 50% charged. Acting carefully with a cutter and an old toothbrush I remove and clean. As much as possible of the residues of the old glue to ensure the best adhesion between the components. To glue smartphones, special glues are sold which in practice have specifics. Simply a spout of suitable size for doing precision work. Therefore knowing the goodness of Bostik Superchiaro Mastic type glue for these types of materials. I put some in a syringe from which I remove the steel needle part. In such a way as to be able to perfectly dose the glue along the edges of both parts to be glued. To increase the grip I also apply the two double-sided tapes supplied with the kit, although the applicator does not seem to work properly. 
After waiting about 15 minutes, as indicated on the glue instructions, I joined the two parts to be glued with a short initial pressure. But intense, I wrapped the smartphone with a cloth and put it under pressure for about 24 hours. Between two pieces of wood held by two clamps. I check the perfect seal and remove the dry glue residues, with one of the various apps available to evaluate. The state of the battery charge I check that the current estimated battery capacity. It is about 2900 mAh, therefore perfectly in line with the data declared by the manufacturer, and equivalent to the original, as well as of good general workmanship. Since replacing the battery, was successful I proceed to apply the new tempered glass. The first thing to do, of course, is to remove the old glass. I initially try to remove it using the pick, but the glass shatters, so I decide to use a dental floss to slide under the tempered glass which will gradually rise, and it will come off safely without causing any damage. If the adhesive is particularly tough, you can try to loosen it with a jet of hot air from a hair dryer. I clean the display with a vacuum cleaner, with the damp cloth supplied with the kit, and remove the residues of lint and dust with the adhesive also supplied. To apply the glass as accurately as possible, it is advisable to use adhesives, supplied in such a way as to fix the position longitudinally and have a grip on the glass on the opposite side in order to easily remove the protective film of the adhesive and reposition perfectly the glass that will adhere completely giving a simple pressure in the center any bubbles will disappear after a short time perhaps by applying even a slight pressure in the affected areas while cleaning the glass with the second dry cloth supply so resurrecting a smartphone with a few euros with a simple do-it-yourself could be a good idea also given the multiplicity of secondary uses perhaps for automation backup security multimedia tracking home cloud servers etc what you can do with it thanks for watching the video so far i decline any responsibility for personal injury animals and things that may have occurred to those who wanted to imitate the procedure which is for entertainment purposes only i hope i was helpful and to have pleasantly entertained you if you have not already done so comment share like give a super thank you take a peek at other videos and subscribe to the channel thanks for the support bye bye